In this video, we're going to focus on how we can change the font size of all of the charts here. So basically, we're going to focus on the global settings. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to change the font settings for all charts at once in Chart.js. So what we're going to do here is, first of all, we need to get a border template. So make sure you go to chartjs3.com doc slash chart getting started. This you can find as well, or this link you can find in the description box as well. So once you're here, just copy this border template. Copy this. If you want to understand what this border template does, watch this video here. So what I'm going to do is I will paste this in there. I will cut this out and then I'm going to put that in here. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to duplicate our chart. I'm going to copy this because we will have, for example, two charts. That was the question or these multiple charts at once. So once we have this, let's scroll up here. And what we want to do here, because uh, we have these constants and we have here the canvas with an ID. What I want to do here, first of all, is make a new ID because every ID must be unique. So we're not allowed to have two duplicate IDs. Next, what I want to do is this reference. We have to go down here and change the reference here to ch constant chart number two because of this one. Next, what I'm going to do is I need to change this configuration here or the config and this one here as well. So this is allowed here because these two for some reason must be like this. However, when we go to the data here, this is not allowed because we are not allowed to use here the ES6 shorthand. So we're going to say your data number two. Then this data is the constant of this. So this must be changed as well. And let's say here to make it sure that we see a difference, I'm going to change the color here. Say chart two. All right, save. Refresh. Now you can see here we have the chart number two and chart number one. So what I'm going to do now is I want to adjust this with one single line. So how do we do this? Well, basically here, we're going to say a chart, which is the capital C, and then we're going to say here default dot font dot size equals 20. If I save this, what happens? Everything will be now 20 pixels and they will trigger all of them. So you might wonder why this chart and not maybe my chart or uh, if you see my other videos, I use small chart. Well, first of all, the chart here is usually in a function where I use it as a reference or a, a parameter. So those are arguments. However, in this case, this capitalized C chart refers to the chart object or basically we created here the global object which is in Chart.js library. So this is being recognized and we can change everything here. Of, uh, all the default uh, settings can be done and it will trigger every chart on your page. So this is very important to remember. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to know how to do some more items, for example, have these charts side by side, I'm going to recommend you this video here, how to place multiple charts side by side in Chart.js.